Today we're going to make James Bond's original creation, the Vesper. For this drink, you're going to need a Nick and Nora glass, a graduated double jigger, a Hawthorne strainer, a fine mesh strainer, a bar spoon, a channel knife, and a cocktail shaker. This drink uses gin, vodka, lemon peel for garnish, Enquina Le Rodor, Coquille Americano, or Le Le Blanc. This is a pretty famous drink for one that Bond invented on the spot and only drank once. The drink first appeared in 1953 in the first Bond book, Casino Royale, and it had a pretty big revival when the 2006 film version of Casino Royale was released. In the book, Bond invented the drink after a winning streak at the roulette table, and just after meeting his CIA counterpart, Felix Leiter. Bond was feeling boisterous and cocky after his visit from Lady Luck, and wanted to make an impression with Leiter, as well as anyone else who happened to be watching them. He made Leiter change his order of scotch to scotch on the rocks. Then Bond ordered a dry martini for himself, but he immediately changed his mind, stopped the bartender, and completely remade it by doing away with the dry vermouth and subbing in vodka and quinoa lele. He called for the drink to be shaken, which was the first time he made the specification that would later become his catchphrase. Quinas, or conquinas, used to be a common category of bitter aperitif spirits, usually enjoyed before a meal to stimulate the appetite. Unfortunately, they had fallen out of favor by the end of the 20th century. Quina Lele was reformulated in the 1980s to reduce its characteristic bitterness and rebranded as Lele Blanc. Recently, Quinas have been getting a bit of a revival. There are three accepted substitutes for Quina Lele, Coquille Americano, Quina Le Rodor, and Lele Blanc. To address the diminished bitterness in Lele Blanc, I like using a technique I learned from 12 Bottle Bar's David Salmonson. His trick to make a Vesper with Lele is to add a dash of aromatic bitters and a pinch of citric acid. Bond orders his drink made with Gordon's gin, but over the years, they've lowered their proof. Since Beefeater was a Bond favorite and remained at a higher proof, I tend to keep it on hand for Bond cocktails. The Vesper is similar to its progenitor, the Dry Martini, but it's different enough not to be mistaken. The addition of vodka is a curious one, but then again, so is the insistence that it be shaken. This cocktail should be stirred. The drink was named after the first Bond girl, Vesper Lind, who was named after Magic Hour, sometimes called the Violet Hour, which is a reference to the Vespers, or evening prayers. And this is a great drink to sip on the porch during Magic Hour. We'll start by chilling our glass, fill it with ice and water, and set it aside. Next, we're gonna measure an ounce and a half of gin, Add that to the mixing glass. Measure half an ounce of vodka. Add that to the mixing glass. Measure a quarter ounce of quina, coqui, or lele. And add that to the mixing glass. If you're using lele, add a dash of aromatic bitters and a pinch of citric acid. Add ice, and because we're making Bond's recipe, we're gonna serve it shaken, not stirred. You'll wanna shake this one for a good 30 to 40 seconds to chill it down and give it some dilution. Dump the ice from your Nick and Nora glass. Then double strain the contents of your shaker into your chilled glass. The fine mesh strainer will collect all the little ice chips and help give the drink a cleaner appearance. Using a channel knife, cut a long piece of lemon peel directly over the drink. This is where we're gonna get most of the oils. Wrap it around a bar spoon in a tight little curl. Give it a last twist and drop it in for garnish. And there it is, a James Bond original, the Vesper. Cheers. Click here for more videos. Be sure to subscribe and check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.